Navarra. Urban farming to alleviate poverty and promote healthy living. Let's talk about food. Demand is rising and space is becoming limited. So what can be done? The short answer is sustainable food. Here's where Navarra comes in. A non-profit urban farming platform introducing a system of sustainable food production that combines a traditional aquaculture with hydroponics in a symbiotic environment. Yes, we are talking about urban aquaponics and this is how it works. The fish go about their lives releasing waste which is pumped out. The waste is filtered by the system and converted into nitrates by beneficial bacteria. The nitrate is food for the plants and the plant roots act as a natural filtration system for the fish. And then we reap the rewards. Why is aquaponics a good solution to sustainable food? It saves water by recirculation, it avoids pesticides and fertilizers, it grows produce more efficiently, it requires minimal maintenance, and most importantly, it pays for itself. There is no need to be hassled with all that painful weeding. The system can even be automated and solar powered. And it can be used in any climate throughout the world. So how much food are we talking? Aquaponic systems comes in many sizes. Let's look at a small scale system, for example. Um, a small greenhouse with uh, 52 by 26 foot uh, with four small tanks. When it's established and maintained, can produce up to 400 kilograms or 880 pounds of vegetables. 220 pounds of fish annually which is enough to last the average person for more than half a year clearly there is a potential here but now we just need to apply it Navarra's goals then are to retain capital in local communities make produce organic and pesticide free and more accessible and affordable to everyone what's more we include farmers' participation in not just farming, but also marketing and fundraising, in adopting green technology and in creating new practices. Navarra's next big plan is to deliver the promise of this cutting-edge technology of hydroponics to urban slums in Nigeria through collaborating with local Nigerian interns such as Adaisa Inacha, currently a grad student with green farming dreams.